Good morning, all souls. Pastor Will here again. Tuesday morning, Rockland County just went on a state of emergency, uh, into a state of emergency as of yesterday. Uh, lots of news out there about how uh, the, the worst is yet to come. And so therefore there's a lot of fear and anxiety. And as I thought about you all this morning and as I've been praying for, for you, one of the passages of scripture that God brought to mind with regard to this, this idea of what's about to come is Matthew chapter 7, where Jesus says that the wise man hears my teachings and puts them into practice. He's like a wise builder who builds his house on the rock so that when the rains come and then the floods, the result is that his house or his life remains. The foolish builder is the one who builds his house on the sand. And when the rains come and the floods come, the foundation gives way and the house tumbles. So this, it's this idea where Jesus is saying, hey, what I'm teaching you matters because I know that the flood is coming. I know that there's going to be a storm that comes in and it's going to be bigger than you expected. And so in a very real sense, Jesus is saying to his original audience in the first century and to us even today, hey, I know what's coming down the pike. And so I want you to practice the things that I'm teaching you so that you're ready, so that you can withstand the storm and survive the flood when it comes. And I love the fact that that's at the very end of the same chapter where Jesus says these words. So in other words, these are the teachings. This is what it looks like to build your house on the rock. He says, wise builder, be anxious for nothing. Do not be anxious about your life. He says, I want you to look outside. So if you have a window right now, go ahead and look outside again. Look outside. He says, I want you to consider the birds. They don't farm. <laughs> they don't toil, right? They don't sow. They don't reap. They don't harvest. And yet your heavenly father feeds them. I want you to consider the lilies, the lilies of the field. They don't, they don't do, go to sewing class. They don't know how to knit. They don't put together their garments, and yet they are more beautifully clothed than even the greatest king in Israel's history in terms of wealth, in terms of land, in terms of, of treasure, Solomon. So not even Solomon in all of his glory was, was clothed like one of those lilies. He says, if, if God cares for them, the lilies and the birds, which are here today and gone tomorrow, how much more will he care for you Oh, you of little faith. And so therefore, here's what I want you to do. I want you to seek first the king. Seek first God. Seek first to be in his presence. Seek first to be close to him. Why? Because the one who takes care of the birds and the lilies is the one who's going to take care of you. He already knows what you need. And here's what he's allowing to happen when you feel anxious and out of control. He's allowing you to feel that so that you'll draw near to him so that you'll start to understand that this life has actually never been about just what you're going to eat or what you're going to wear. It has always been about knowing the God who's made you so that he can delight in you and, he, and you can delight in him. There's no greater purpose and no greater joy. My prayer for you today is that you'll know that joy and purpose and that you'll find great freedom from fear and anxiety in it today. Seek the Lord. He will be found when you do. Amen.